News. As if we needed more yesterday, Hall of Fame coach Jay Wright is retiring after 21 seasons at Villanova. A shocking move that comes just weeks after he led the Wildcats to the Final Four. Fordham's Kyle Neptune, who spent 10 years under Wright as a video coordinator and assistant coach, will take over. Uh, and so just fortuitous that we have Seth here today to talk NBA, but obviously this is your primary area of expertise is the college game. What, what's your reaction to this news about Jay Wright? Sad day for college basketball. Happy for Jay, but a sad day for college basketball. I mean, look, think about what he's done. Two national championships, an Olympic gold medal, uh, ran a model program. The culture of Villanova basketball is the best in the country. He survived one and done by doing it his way with attitude and basically getting guys to buy into playing for those who played before him, I mean, which is their motto. With NIL and the transfer portal, I'm not sure Jay felt that he was capable of continuing to do it that way. Mm. But if you think about the great ambassadors of our game, you think about the guys that other people want to emulate and be like, it's Jay Wright. Uh, he's going to be missed in our game because I got 10 phone calls last night from all head coaches, and they all said the same thing. How are we going to replace Jay Wright in terms of the leadership of the future of college basketball? That's how good he is. He's also only 60. He's a very healthy man. He's in unbelievable shape. Candidly, he doesn't look 60. Do you think we will ever see him on the sideline again, either on the college or on the pro level? Now, I should tell everybody, Woj tweeted last night that while there has been a lot of pro interest in uh, Jay Wright, that the expectation is that this is truly a retirement. But you know him well. What is your sense? Yeah, I don't want to speak for Jay. I, I think he's really comfortable with his decision. I think that, you know, he's put in 60 years uh, he loves what he's doing. Obviously, he had that Olympic experience working with Pop. And he said, by the way, that Olympic experience, more pressure than he's ever been under mm. in coaching that Olympic experience, especially after they lost that first game. I think he's really comfortable in his own skin. I don't think he has anything else to prove. I'm not saying you never say never. But I think he'll go on and, and, and live his own life. We certainly will have a lot of options. Oh. We will see an unbelievable career and a member already. He'll be sitting here next year, probably. Of the Hall of Fame. We will <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.